this patch here guys last year I had tomatoes here and this year I'm gonna put my courgettes in there I've got three courgette plants one is enough for a family of our size but we absolutely love courgettes so last three seeds it was and the seeds are getting a bit old so I didn't want to wait too long and I'll get some trying to get some seeds this year from the plants I grow and see how that goes so we're gonna get this patch ready and then it's time to plant the courgettes in here So here are the courgette plants guys. Now where can I put them? I'll just put them here for now. I'm going to give this soil a quick turn. So I'm going to go one plant over here and another one here and another one here so a triangle shape give them lots of space they do grow ground covering quite big and then it's much easier to spot any problems and slugs and watering and picking the veg as well so here's our homemade compost let's do that put this guy on here and what I'm gonna do mark out where I'm going to have my plant here and then do the whole compost adding Now, time to give them a good water, slug pellets, and then gonna build a little structure to help them survive the direct sun and get used to the weather outside temperature. Remember, they came straight from indoors out. I planted these really late, guys. I know other people call just about this big now. Not a problem. Plenty of time left. Could just love water. Moist soil. It's one of those days, guys. It's cloudy, but every now and then the sun comes through. And I'm actually planting these at midday. I'm taking really big risks here. Really big risk with these guys. I'm just so tired and just don't have the time. I've got to get this done. They should have come out about a week ago. You see how much water I'm giving them? Always give it a chance to soak in all around last year slugs did attack these courgettes now time to build i'm going to use four empty drinks bottles take the lids off like so cut the Cut off. That's one. I need the wrapping. There we are. So I need to make another three of these. Fifteen 
simply what I'm doing is I'm making a what do you call it? like a cold frame for them but with cloth I don't have any cloth or anything to put over them so that's why so I'm making my own and I'll show you how very easy now I need four small bamboos so here are my bamboos one goes in here nice and deep put this guy on top put another guy in here put him on top one is direct sunlight so it doesn't burn the leaves because the plants are not used to it yet and the other thing is at night time it'll be a couple of celsius warmer in here and it's like a little cover for them to keep them protected quite lucky we've got loads of this fleece it's already the right size perfect It's worth, I know it's a lot of hard work guys, but it's worth it because it will give us so much pleasure and free food guys. So just tie it there. I have a heart the the correct term is harden them off. Got them used to. We haven't got used, we haven't got the plant used to the weather outside. Because at night time, 10, 12 Celsius, and they just come from indoors where it's been comfortable 20 Celsius, it's a bit of a change.